Anyone who's used Adobe Photoshop's Generative Fill knows that it's hit and miss when it comes to generating people and objects. Often you get mushy results. Well, I want to show you real quickly how to take those mushy results and turn them into something very useful. Because one of the things that Photoshop Generative Fill does very well is shadows and relationship and spatial relationships of objects within a photo. For example, I'm going to draw a rectangle here and type a prompt into the generative fill dialog. Attractive woman standing or leaning against a bed and then generate the image. Generative fill will now do its thing and generate a very mushy Plato-like person against the bed, but notice the shadows and the special relationships look really good. So now I'm going to tap the power of Stable Diffusion, which I have running on my laptop here, and I'm going to open up the Auto Stable Diffusion plugin window, type in my prompt, which will probably be the same prompt I used before, and uh, I've already created a selection around the area that I want to re-render. I'm going to use what's called image to image to regenerate this and then I'm going to go ahead and click generate. It's going to go ahead and use the uh, Juggernaut XL checkpoint to recreate this person here in this image. And then all I have to do now is just mask this person in. As you can see, Stable Diffusion has recreated this person against this bed. Uh, there's some minor details that we might want to fix later, but she's 100% better than she was just out of generative fill to begin with. However, notice that the shadows are really well done, and she really looks like she's leaning against the bed. I'll just mess with the selection here to get the uh, shadows back into the image, and I'm going to go ahead and mask her in, and you can see she looks really good. So this is how you can use Stable Diffusion to regenerate uh, the results you get from generative fill.